Hi, Genevieve Jacobs from Region Media with today's news update which comes from the launch of Summer Nats, a traditional blistering hot day for Canberra's biggest tourist event. It's back, number 34, this coming summer. I've got Andy Lopez from Summer Nats with me and also Chief Minister Andrew Barr. Uh, Chief Minister, we are standing in front of a lime green Tirana. We are surrounded by some very extravagant vehicles indeed. I'm a little disappointed that you're not in a motorhead t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan? What's in it for the rest of us? Look, Summer Nuts has been a major anchor event for, for summer in Canberra for, you know, for decades now. Uh, Andy and his team have continued to evolve the event to broaden its appeal, uh, to bring a whole range of new activities, as well as you know, maintaining the core elements you know, of what has made the event so popular. So I think what we can expect is a lot of great cars, a lot of passion from people who've I you know, had 18 months in lockdown nearly <laughs> to, you know, to be working on, uh, working on some of these cars uh, to, to showcase them uh, you know, in, in all of the different competitions and events that will occur, expanding out to a fringe festival uh, here in Braddon. So I think it's the event taking a next logical step uh, and you know, really will be a, a welcome return to, I guess, the event schedule that we're used to uh, for our summer. Now look, it's been a bit controversial in the past, but you threw around some very big numbers today about the impact on the economy and the impact on tourism for the region as a whole. So perhaps, perhaps talk to the value of that for, for the ACT. Look, we'd, we'd expect, you know, sort of based on, uh, on Andy's ticket sales so far, what, uh, you know, what we're seeing in terms of forward bookings in the accommodation sector, that there'll be you know, over 120,000 room nights uh, and more than $30 million injected uh, into the local economy. In diversifying the event and the, you know, the, the locations, we're looking to spread some of that money uh, around more traders uh, in the city. Uh, and then you know, what we want to see for, for the future is uh, you know, some more creative thinking on, uh, on where the event could go. What are the new trends uh, uh, in motoring, in street machines and the like, and you know, possibly even electric, uh, <laughs> that, that might, be, you know, might be part of uh, the event's future that um, you know, I, I think would, would open up new opportunities and bring new participants and new spectators uh, to come to Canberra uh, for summer nets. Now, Andy, the Chief did suggest yep. that it could go electric. Are you going to tell him he's dreaming? <laughs> He's not dreaming. No, look, the, the Summer Nats is a really broad church. We've got, like, as you're looking around us here, like the, the traditional type of cars, muscle muscle cars, Aussie cars, American cars that you'd expect. But the Summer Nats is going to evolve and grow as, as trends do as well. Like we're, And, you know, this year with the ACT Tesla Owners Group is participating at Summer Nats, um, and they're not the first Teslas to have been at Summer Nats, and that will continue. So... I take the Chief's challenge, um, we will, we continue to evolve and grow and I, you know, who knows, maybe there'll be a, an electric car hill climb at the Arboretum in, our, in the not too distant future, so challenge accepted, sir. Uh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Most of them are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard it here first, look we'll touch on very quickly the Fringe Festival, yeah. that's the other big innovation that's happening here which actually folds in the whole of the inner city, just very, whoa! Take us through what's happening. Um, a little bit of this. So on, on Friday and Saturday night, we're going to close down uh, Lonsdale Street and sort of bring that traditional Friday, Saturday night activity in Braddon into making that a like a really well-managed, um, colourful, vibrant event and bringing heaps of, obviously, economic benefit to the traders and also making it for the residents a more enjoyable experience as well. OK, I'm going to cut out before any of that happens again and none of us can hear each other speak. Also making news on the Riot Act this week, lots about the weather, of course. Lake George is full again. We've had the wettest November in history. We're talking about whether there's some sleazy carry-on going on in APS outsourcing and some really controversial discussion about that taking place on the website and also whether the housing market has just gone very slightly off the boil. All that and more on the Riot Act, where we're really looking forward to seeing the cruising. Chief Minister, I want to see you in an orange Tirana. <laughs> I want to see you with the spoilers. I want to see you with the t-shirt. There's another oh, challenge. A, a, little, a little red hybrid Mini doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter what you drive, you can still see it. <laughs> this is, I'm Genevieve Jacobs. This is Region Media. <laughs>